hi and welcome to another C++ tutorial from someone9031. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you about arrays in C++. Arrays are basically sort of like one big variable with like many different slots where you can stick different other variables. So it's sort of like a cupboard with shelves and on each shelf you can put a variable. So um, it's a bit confusing right now but let's just write some code and Like variables, arrays need da a data type. These data types are the exact same as everything else that we've been using already for um, variables. So if you wanted an array that held integer values, you'd put int, and then you could name it, say, a. And then to show that it's an array, you put the square bracket, and inside you put how many slots or elements you want in your uh, array. So this determines how many values you can input. So let's put 3. That means this will have 3 slots. We can put 3 integers into this. And let's prompt the user to enter some numbers. And then to input the value into the array, you would do what you do for uh, most variables. So you put name A, and then you put which slot you want. So we want this in our first slot, and you would think that's 1, but no, it's 0. So that's the first slot of our array, so this inputs whatever the user enters into the 0 slot, which, or the first slot of our array. So let's get them to enter some more numbers. So this, the 2 element, is the last element of our 3 slot array, so 0, 1, 2, that's 3 slots. And to output, it's just basically the same as input, like just put the name and then which um, element it's in. So. This will output what value is stored inside the array A in slot 0. Let's test the program and see if this works. So enter a number, let's say 10, 12, and 9. So element 0 is 10, so there. Element 1 is 12, and element 2 is 9. So this is basically arrays. And um, there is one more thing I need to show you. Uh, for this array, we've declared the array with three slots, and all of them by default have zero because we have not entered a variable or value in. Sorry. Um, you can also declare um, an array with values already added in. So to do that, you take out the number inside the square brackets, and then just close that. You put equals. In the curly brace, and inside you put the numbers you want. So one, 
separated by commas. Two, three. So there we go. So we've initialized it like that. So just to show you what I mean, I'll do this. Just make that restart thing again. And if we ran this right now, so we see you can see here the variable a is being used without initializing. So there we go, there's nothing inside that break. And yeah, basically this concludes the tutorial. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.